Zhongling is one of the best characters in all of Genshin Impact, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can get her for free. Hey everyone, Sharkheart here, and I want to make sure you don't miss out on this free character, and I'll even talk about how you can get another free character using this method without spending a single Primo Gem. So let's dive in and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get your free Xiangling. The first step in this process is to be Adventure Rank 20, although you may find it easier if you are a higher Adventure Rank, but Adventure Rank 20 is the minimum. Once you're Adventure Rank 20 or above, then we can proceed to the second step, which is to go to Musk Reef. This is an island way to the east of Cape Oath and Mondstadt. But don't worry, you don't have to glide there. There's actually a much easier way to get to Musk Reef. We want to go near the edge of Cape Oath, which is conveniently very close to the teleporter. Once you're there, fight a group of Electro Slimes and solve a very simple puzzle. After defeating your enemies, an updraft of wind will appear out of the ground. This updraft is under a strange, mysterious, purple, black hole-like thing. And we're gonna jump inside of it. Use the updraft and go straight into the cosmic-looking eyeball in the sky. Once you pop out of the cosmic iris, you'll land safely on Musk Reef. Once there, do a quick pan with your camera and run towards this gate in the water. Clicking on this gate will unlock the Spiral Abyss, as well as an easy way to teleport back here. You'll notice the Spiral Abyss has multiple floors. Here you'll fight waves of enemies that get harder and harder with each floor. But to get Xiangling, you only need to beat Floor 3. Each chamber in the Spiral Abyss has three chambers, so you simply need to beat Floor 3 and all three of its chambers, and then Xiangling will be yours. Now you're fighting level 45 enemies, but they're tougher than level 45 enemies in the overworld, so while you can unlock and do this at AR20, you may want to be a little bit higher adventure rank before tackling this challenge. Bonus tip! The Spiral Abyss often has special bonuses that help increase your damage to clear the floor easier. And the bonus for Floor 3 is increasing your Swirl damage by 300% and its AoE by 100% and then increasing the Animo damage dealt by all of your characters by 75%. So I would recommend bringing 1-2 to two Animo characters with some combination of Pyro, Electro, Hydro, or Cryo characters. So you got your free Shengling, congratulations! Now what? Well you're probably going to want to know why she's so good and how you should build her to maximize on her potential. The reason she is so good may not be immediately apparent, especially because her value increases as your adventure rank increases and the enemies become tougher. And the reason she becomes more valuable over time is because of her elemental burst. You see, her elemental burst has very good damage scaling, but it also has a very unique property. It ignores the elemental reaction internal cooldown, which is something basically every other character has to deal with. What this means is that Zhongling's elemental burst can cause an elemental reaction every single time it hits. Her burst also snapshots, meaning that it receives the full duration of the buff for as long as her elemental burst is active. Meaning that if you received a buff that only lasted one second, but you got it at the beginning cast of Zhongling's elemental burst, that buff would instead last for the entire duration of her elemental burst and not just that one second. Only a handful of characters in Genshin Impact can actually snapshot buffs and the fact that Zhongling can do it in addition to everything else she can do makes her absolutely fantastic. And this also works off field, meaning you have a lot of versatility to use Zhongling in a variety of different teams. And in Genshin Impact, when a character can deal damage off field, they're almost always better than a character that can only deal their damage while on the field. This makes Zhongling more valuable than characters like Klee, Yanfei, Yoimiya, or even the fan favorite Hu Tao. Because while those characters have plenty of potential in their own right, they have to be on field for you to get the full value out of them. However, Zhongling can do all of her damage off field and ignore the internal cooldown timers that all those other characters have to abide by. This makes her a premier pyro damage dealer, as long as you can solve her energy problems. And speaking of energy problems, let's talk about how to build Zhongling. In terms of weapons, Zhongling can use almost any spear in the game to great effect. However, spears like the Favonius Lance and Dragon's Bane are really good for her, but one of her best options that's also completely free to play friendly is the 4 star spear called the Ketch. You can get this spear and all of its refinements by fishing once you reach Inazuma. The spear also works incredibly well with the Emblem of the Severed Fate artifact set. And this is the artifact set I suggest most people run with Zhongling to get a 4 piece Emblem of the Severed Fate. However, there are other good options like a 4 piece Gilded Dream set which will also be nice on her. 
Though I recommend Emblem of the Severed Fate for most people, because this artifact set solves one of her problems while also being very synergistic with a lot of her other skills. It not only increases her energy recharge, but also increases the damage of her elemental burst the more energy recharge she has. And the Polar on the Catch not only increases her energy recharge, but also increases her elemental burst crit and damage as well. All of these factors working together make Zhongling extremely powerful. After AR45, when you start seriously farming artifacts, you want to look for a crit rate or damage headpiece, an energy recharge sands, and a pyro damage goblet. As far as subsets go, she works with pretty much every offensive substat in the game. Elemental mastery, attack percent, crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, they're all really good for her. Though you do want to strike a balance between having a lot of energy recharge, over about 200% or though is really nice and comfy, as well as having about a 1 to 2 crit rate to crit damage ratio. That means if your crit rate was about 50, you'd want about 100 crit damage. And then any other attack percent or elemental mastery substats are also very welcome on her. And of course, depending on your artifact RNG, your substats could be way better. The final thing you have to do to make sure you have a super OP Zhongling is like this video and make sure you're subbed with the notifications turned on. It's been proven. Tons of people have come to stream saying that they have been blessed by the luck of the shark, and I want you to be blessed by that too. So make sure that you've liked, subbed, turned on the bell to get that good, good RNG. And oh yeah, I have something else for you. Remember in the beginning of the video how I said you could get another character for free? Once you beat floor 3 of the abyss, you can advance to floor 4. And if you can clear floor 4, chamber 3, you will get another free character. And this character is the 4 star Denjo Archer Kale from Sumeru. Admittedly, she is not nearly as good as Zhongling. In fact, she's kinda eh. But hey, free character! But she is a Denjo character and that helps her enable a lot of good teams, especially with the Denjo Traveler. So once you've beaten Floor 3 of the Abyss and gotten a free Zhongling, see if you can beat Floor 4 and get a free Kale as well. But simply having good characters won't help you beat the hardest content in the game. For that, you're going to need good team compositions, a knowledge of how to build those characters properly without wasting resources, and how you should prioritize leveling characters, weapons, talents, and artifacts to get you the most damage possible. Luckily, I have guides on all of these topics for you. They go into a lot more depth than I did in this video, and they're good references with timestamps so you can go back and watch certain sections again if you need more help. And of course, those videos will be linked in the description below. And once you've developed all of these things, you will unlock the true power of your account. It'll take understanding and a little bit of luck, but soon you'll be amazed at your progress once you understand the not-so-apparent elements of the game and how to develop your account the best way possible. Thank you again everyone, have a wonderful day, I love you all so much, and remember to stay jawsome.